Hello everybody, this is Pitchcock Black here, and... Um, that was pretty much my reaction towards the end of the episode. Um, yeah, World Enough and Time, I think it was called, just Ed, and... This is going to be a really strange metaphor to open up with, but... I don't think everybody will get it, but... Picture a how-to basic video with a feature for MaxMofo in it. And picture a scene where MaxMofo is getting just a fuck ton of like food stuff just thrown at him, just constant barragement of food stuff. At the end of this episode, I felt like I was MaxMofo in a how-to basic video. There was just so much shit and in such an epic factor going on towards the end of the episode my jaw was hanging literally and I was just I was just confused and I was so, I was so, I'm still struggling to comprehend it um I guess like, let's go back um to the start I guess last week I uh, watched the Whovian High Council for on live for um, oh, I'm trying to remember the fucking episode now, but I can't remember the episode name as of now. But I was joking around with Doctor Forever, um, my old mate, um, well, mate, on uh the live stream chat that uh Bill would get turned into a Cyberman. And holy fuck, I was right. Um, I <laughs> I literally joked around in the Hoovian High Council chat, l l live stream chat, that it would be cool if Bill's uh, departure at the end of the series would be that she would get turned into a Cyberman. And that actually happens in the episode. Which. I was not expecting. I was expecting she would like get killed by a Cyberman or something, but um, or depart in some other way. But no, she actually gets converted into a Mondasian Cyberman in this episode, which is pretty um, uh, fascinating to me. I would say personally. <coughs> I'm just move the camera a little bit. Um, so yeah, Bill got turned into a Mondasian, um, Cyberman, which I thought was, um, very interesting. Um, even though I don't like him much anymore, I saw that South Park Triple Free Gaming, um, uploaded a video on the leaked, uh, trailer for this, um, episode that just aired and uh, he pointed out that it could be a Cyberman origin story and turns out he was actually correct for once um, yeah this was a uh, Cyberman origin story and it's even though I haven't heard it I can basically make a comparison and say it blended the big finish audio drama spare parts with the empty child, the doctor dances and uh, psychological horror elements it like fuses uh, the spare parts and that two parts of uh, series one and blends it with psychological horror elements and um, creates uh, just a very interesting episode overall um, uh, I was absolutely engrossed from start to finish. There were some uh, moments in the episode which sort of irked me, like sort of some of the character interactions and this um, unnamed character um, that I will get later on, um, come to later on, who is this like Mondasian, uh, Mondasian sort of homeless person um, look-alike, I, I would say personally, even though that's probably not what he is. Um, or something like that, and some of the interactions between them sort of irked me. It was just a little um, 
a little cheesy in some areas and a tiny bit cringy. Um, but the episode engrossed me so much to the point where I completely forgot. And the episode is like so engrossing and so mysterious and just so um, enveloping to the point where I completely forgot that John Sim, John Sim's master, was actually going to feature in this episode. And his reveal at the end of the episode, I I did not expect because I completely forgot that he was actually going to be in the episode. Um, so yeah, his reveal was amazing, and it's sort of, um, interesting, Missy's role in the story, and Bill getting converted into a Cyberman for a start, as I said, I was joking around with Doctor Forever last week, and, um, saying it'd be, oh, it'd be cool if Bill was turned into a Cyberman or something, and hello and behold, it actually fucking happened, which was, um, pretty amazing, and, that added with the reveal of the John Sim Master just made for an absolutely fantastic uh, cliffhanger and lead into the final episode of series 10, uh, The Doctor Falls. And looking at the next time trailer, it looks like it's going to be an all out epic. Um, we obviously knew that the Mondasian Cybermen were going to be in the episode course as well as the Nightmare and Silver Cybermen but the next time trailer also revealed that the Age of Steel um, Cybus Industries uh, Cybermen, the ones from uh, this um, two parts, the Rise of Cybermen, Age of Steel, these Cybermen, um, the next time trailer revealed that also these Cybermen are going to be in the um, uh, series finale as well so um, that was pretty awesome. Um, yeah, it's it's difficult to articulate a reaction review realistically because there's like um, so much going on. And as I said at the beginning of this video, that really red metaphor, it did feel like I was in a food fight or a um, how-to basic video as Max Mofo with so much shit just flying at your face. There's just so much going on at once. It's like so hard to like even comprehend what is going on. At points, well, you can comprehend it, but that like, it's it's one of those situations where you can understand what is going on, but it all happens so fast and such in a manner to the point where it's like difficult for you to comprehend, and that's what sort of holding me back from giving a proper sort of detailed, um, proper sort of analysed sort of review. Um, but yeah, um. World Enough and Time, I thought it was great, um, as I said I was joking around with, with Bill becoming a Cyberman last week and my joke actually came true, um, I cannot believe that it got that she got turned into a Cyberman, I feel like that's a very interesting um, way to take the story and I am quite hyped for the next episode, the Doctor Falls I think it's called, um, this one, World Enough and Time, it's not a perfect episode by any means, but I do personally think it is a good episode that deserves an... I, I'm i tempted to go for an 8 out of 10, but I might want to go higher. It's, it's just such an interesting episode. I like how it blended... Um, like as I said, the Doctor dances and the Empty Child and the Doctor dances and spare parts together with psychological horror, and sort of created a sort of horror story, um, detailing about the origins of the Cybermen. And um, we also found a really interesting concept of how um, Stephen Moffat used the sort of um, uh, sort of um, black hole sort of mechanic with the. Um, uh, spaceship in it with like the black hole at one end, the time being really fast at one end and uh, time being really slow at the other end. I feel like that was a really good sort of plot point and plot um, mechanic to get like Bill converted into a Cyberman. I feel like that was really cleverly done and I'm quite surprised to say this but this was actually a very good episode by Stephen Moffat and um, 
uh, I probably will be returning to this as it is such an intriguing episode. Not a masterpiece by any means, and it's definitely not perfect, but I would recommend it, and I would personally give it an 8 out of 10.